Often when prototyping, we want interactions to only occur sometimes, when something is true or false, or to let multiple things control an interaction, such as two different buttons having the same effect. This is called adding logic, and we are going to learn how to do this in Origami by building this Instagram direct messages prototype. This modal is eventually going to be able to be closed both when we press cancel and when we tap anywhere in this dark area. If you're coming from code, logic and origami might be a little different to what you're used to. We recommend that you check out the content on coming from code. For everyone else, or if you've done that already, make sure you download the files that come with this tutorial to follow along. You'll see from the starting lesson files that we've already set up all our layers, as well as the basic open-close interactions of the modal. Our direct messages button opens the modal, or turns on the switch, and the cancel button closes the modal, or turns off the switch. We want tapping on this color fill to also close the modal. Let's start by making it interactive. Hover over the color fill layer, click on touch, and then tap. We can see that tapping in the area is picked up by its interaction patch. This should turn off the switch in order to turn off the dialog, but we already have a connection from the cancel button to turn off the switch. And connecting our color fill output replaces that. What we want is tapping on the cancel or tapping on the color fill to turn off the switch. Origami has a patch for this called OR. Let's add it to our patch editor by double tapping, typing OR, and then pressing return. Next, let's connect the tap output from our cancel interaction to one of the OR inputs, and then the tap output from our color fill interaction to the other. You can see now that tapping on either of these triggers an output. Let's plug in the output of our OR patch to the turn off input on our switch. In doing so, it replaces our old connection. Let's give it a go. Okay, so clicking cancel works like normal, but also tapping on color fill also closes the modal. You might notice though that tapping anywhere in the color fill, even if I'm tapping on someone's head here in the send to layer, turns off the switch. That's because our color fill layer actually takes up the whole height and width of our screen. Tapping anywhere on the screen counts as tapping on our color fill layer. We need to tell our modal to turn off when we tap on cancel or color fill, and not when the send to layer is tapped. Like the or patch, Origami has some pretty clearly named patches for this, but first, let's detect when we're tapping on the modal in the first place. Let's navigate to the send to layer. It's causing these problems. Here it is, and let's bring that up. Make sure you're hovering over the send to layer, and then let's hit touch, and then tap. To find out when we're not tapping on the send to layer, let's insert a not patch. Double tap in the patch editor, type to find not, and then press return. Now let's connect the tap output of the send to interaction patch to the input on our not patch. All right, so the not patch tells us when we're not tapping on the modal. Great. Remember earlier when we said that we need to tell our modal to turn off when we tap on cancel or color fill and not when the modal itself is tapped? We need to combine this or patch with this not patch using an and patch. Let's insert one now. Double tap in the patch editor type and, and then press return. Let's repeat that statement one more time, just so it sinks in. We need to tell our modal to turn off when we tap on cancel or color fill and not when the modal is tapped. The and patch should tell us when both of these things are true. And if they are, it'll give us a signal with its output. Let's connect the output of the or patch to an and input and the output of the not patch to the remaining input on the and patch. Let's then connect the output of the and patch to the turn off input of our switch, replacing the previous connection. All right, 
Let's just clean this up slightly. Let's repeat that statement one more time with everything visible, just to make sure of what we've done here. We need to tell our modal to turn off when we tap on cancel or color fill and not when our modal itself is tapped. Perfect. If you don't have this, just make sure that your lesson files reflect exactly what's going on here. These three patches make up the bulk of checking logic in origami. And again, if you're coming from code, or even if you want to understand this a little deeper, check out the coming from code learn content, as well as the example files below.